What is going on guys? DBG here and today we are going to be going over all of the new Dunktober cards and the challenge Isaiah Ryder in NBA 2K20 to my team lads. So before we get on to it, a huge, huge shout out to, um, well, Kenny Mac for getting these um, up. And before we get on to it, what I was actually going to say is, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We have a little more my team content than anywhere else. As well as that, we're uh, we're currently in a process of like kind of gaining, kind of losing subs. We lost 30 subs yesterday. So if we can gain one subscriber today, I'll be happy. If we can gain even one subscriber, that would be insane. Because we lost 30 yesterday. If we can gain one, or if we can somehow make the 30 back, that would be unbelievable. But anyway, JR Ryder, six foot five, six foot eight wingspan. 84 speed, 84 acceleration, 83 shot, 3. Decent mid-range, 90 driving dunk, 83 lateral, 86 ball handle. LeBron James on normal. Okay. Okay, quick first step on gold. Downhill, glue hands, pogo stick. Bailout, space creator, stop and go, tie handles, triple track, juke. Handles for days. All right, he's actually good, man. He's actually good. Shooting guard, small forward. Especially for certain tier, for certain limited games, he's really good. He's really good for limited. He's a great, great free card. Dunktober, Josh Giddy. Okay, so he's a point guard, but he can't play point guard. It's a little bit like Kay Cunningham. Okay, let's have a look. 80 driving dunk for him. Oh, they gave him Jason Kidd base. But, but, he does have it on quick with Steph Curry upper, Dame behind the back, and Shifty. He could be up to something. 84 speed, 84 speed ball, 80 driving dunk, 79 lateral. I get it, he gets no defensive badges, but he's still gonna be a decent defender. Bailout break starter. No quick for if he had quick first step, I would actually say, you know what, this guy could be very solid. I don't think he's awful, but I don't think he's brilliant either. Josh Giddy's just gonna be okay. I was very excited about Josh Giddy's in his game, but obviously, um he's not a can't play his actual position at point guard. So, that's not too bad. So, Sapphire, Tail, and Horton Tucker. So, he is a 6'4", 7'1", player. 7'1", wingspan player who cannot play um, at the point guard position. 78 three ball. Not great speed and acceleration. Not great lateral. 75. What? 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 75 driving dunk. Like, I'm cool with it. This card sucks. He is Yana. Oh, he's he is big O base. Yeah, yeah. He's big O base on quick. Base dribble style. Step find like this card sucks. This card absolutely sucks. Like I thought Giddy's okay. Giddy's got something going for him. And I mean, at least with Oscar base on quick, he might be able to green. But this card sucks. This card really sucks. Then this, I'm excited for Cam Reddish. Lads, I'm excited for Cam Reddish. Are any of these guys Evos? Someone just said in chat that someone's an Evo. Kenny Mack. Um, okay, Taylor Horton Tucker is an Evo. Oh, sorry, he is an Evo. He is an Evo. So, Taylor Horton Tucker could be very, very good with his Evo. He could be very good. And he probably will be able to dunk with his Evo. And, oh, Gary Harris is an Evo as well. Gary Harris, the greatest post-up. The greatest post-up uh, player in history from 2K17. So, Cam Reddish. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Silver Kajashu, Silver Coin Specials, Bronze Quick First Step, Silver Glue Hunt, Silver Hot Zone Hunter, Silver Limits Takeoff, Silver Posterizer, Silver Hyper Drive, Handles for Days, Gold Chase Arrows, Hustler, Pogo Stick, Silver Interceptor. Can't get clamps, but he probably... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. 85 speed, 81 three ball, 80 driving, 86 lateral, PG base on normal. Not a great behind the back. Lads. Lads. I think we're looking at the, at our new demon budget small forward. Like, he's going to be a thousand. Like, we can't forget, these three guys are going to be a thousand MT. This guy is a demon. He is a demon for a thousand MT. Cam Reddish is so damn good. Oh my god. Cam is insanely, insanely good. 
So I get he's all right. I'll see what the Evo... Once we get the Evo stats, we'll be able to make a judgment on him. But um, Wendell Carter Jr., 68 speed, 78 three-pointer. That's not terrible for a 6 hand big. Good post game. Terrible lateral, though. He sucks. Only a 75 driving dunk. He's bad. Don't get me wrong. He can kind of shoot. He doesn't do anything, really. He really doesn't do anything. Like, compared to Cam, who was absolutely fantastic, he's very, very average. He does not do much, honestly. And, honestly, I'm just, just a heads up. You are buying packs for these. Um, there's not going to be toppers, but you are going to get Ludor to Josh Giddy in 96% of your packs, probably. Or 94% of your packs. But um, then we've got Gary Harris. I mean, Gary Harris is pretty damn good even without his Evo. Gary Harris is pretty good without his Evo because his, his jump shot is base 70 on quick. He's pretty good at the two without his Evo. He's at 84 lateral. Bad on ball steel tens, you know. Good three ball, good speed. Like, if he's driving, if he ends up going to, like, an 85 driving dunk and, like, gets gold clamps, we're looking at, like, um, Daryl Griffith 2.0. I really want to see what his Evo is. I really want to see what his Evo is, but he looks very solid. Then we got Lou Dort. So, a little bit undersized at 6'3", but I, mean, I know you can kind of get away with that. 6'3", 6'8", wingspan. 82 speed, 84 three ball. 85 dunk, 92 lateral. Oh man, Dort's ridiculous. Dort's class. One hundred seven is not terrible release. Um, Harden behind the back, and Dort's really good. Dort's really good. He's a little bit undersized, but I mean, you can you can put him on ball, and CP three is not going to trigger mismatch expert. If you're playing CP3. He's good, man. Uh, like, Lou Dort is good. I'm surprised at how decent these cards are. Like, Wendell Carter is not great. And then, assuming that he gets good with the Evo. The only bad card... There's no terrible cards. Wendell Carter is still average. But, um... Yeah, someone just said in my chat... Like, I'm currently live on Twitch, if you guys don't know. Hence the sub goal above me. Someone just said Lou Dort is like ML card, but smaller. I mean, I'm going to have to agree. Uh, he's not quite as good defensively, but he also gets goal catch and shoot on hot zones. And he's a way better shooter than Carr. So, I mean, I have to say, Dort's incredible. And then we got Dennis Schroeder. But hey, you can't dunk. What? Why? He can't dunk. His dribbling's all his dribbling moves are alright. Oakley base is, is woeful. Mismatch expert. But he can't dunk. Why is the set called dunked over? There are no players yet that have a dunk rating of above 80. Or is he of 85? 80. No. There are no we are through half the set and nobody has a dunk rating of above 80. Like, I actually don't mind this set. This is a pretty good promo. Why is it called dunked over? Doesn't make sense. Either way, he sinks. He's terrible. Donovan Mitchell. Why? 2K. Come on. It's freaking October. Let us get a Donovan Mitchell. A place point guard. He's 6 1 2 guard. He's pretty damn good. And by pretty damn good, he's brilliant. He is brilliant. Base four, pro three behind the back. If he could play point guard, this is one of the best point guards in the game. Straight up. If he could play point guard, this is one of the best. And honestly, playing about the... He's good. He's even good at the two. You know what? With gold mismatch expert, gold sniper, gold quick first step, these dribble sigs, shifty dribble style, pro four, good dunking, and the pro right between the legs, I'm putting this guy as one of the... He's one of the really good cards in the set. Dude, you, get, you pay 5k MT to give him Chef? Oh. Man, he's going to be exceptional. He can't play point guard. That's a bit of a problem. But he's brilliant. He is absolutely brilliant, lads. Like, 88 ball handle. Silver clamps. He's fantastic. He's just small. 
But height isn't everything in the game this year. Okay, so then we've got um, Josh Smith. Power forward slash center Josh Smith. 74 three ball, 84 speed, 84, 86 lateral, 90 driving dunk. Oh dear Lord. Oh dear Lord, clamps and deceptor. This is just Blake Griffin. This is just used to Blake Griffin. This is juiced up Blake Griffin like. Holy moly. Holy moly. Give him bronze quick for a step. This is freaking juiced up Blake Griffin. Okay, I'm I'm cool with this card here. Like he's like Blake, but he plays defense. Like Blake's obviously better speed. Blake is way better speed with ball. Or sorry, Blake is way better ball handle. That's not the end of the world. Lowry's plus 36. He's like Blake, but he plays defense. This is insane. And he was saying he can't hold one shooting badge. If you've ever shot the ball with ML car. You know that the shooting badges don't mean everything. You know that the shooting badges do not mean everything. The okay, Evos are up. So, Tail and Horton Tucker. It's an 83 three ball. His dunk stays the same. And he gets goal catch and shoot. Okay. He gets better. He doesn't get that much better. Considering 15 of his stats are in hands. Which I'm not sure what hands does. Um, He doesn't get that much better, Devo. I'm looking forward to this card right here. Gary Harris. I mean, gold clamps, Gary Harris, half catch and shoot, dear lord. Dear lord, lads. Gary freaking Harris. He's like, Gary Harris is basically like, if you slightly, if you slight, a slight negative dunking wise for Daryl Griffith, he's equal to Daryl Griffith in terms of playing. Daryl Griffith's a better dunker, whereas you've got uh, better defense and better shooting on Gary Harris. Gary Harris is so good. So, then we have got Dirk Nowitzki. Dirk, 7173 wingspan. He can't dunk. <laughs> Crisis averted, lads. Dunk, Dirk can't dunk. 55 speed. Yeah, I, I got it. They gave him 87 three ball. They gave him half fade ace. Why he is mismatch expert, doesn't really matter. Um, Like, catch and shoot. Like, Dirk can catch shoot. Dirk's not very good. <laughs> can we just uh, put it out there right now? Like, Dirk's not as good as Ibaka. Dirk is like straight up not as good as Serge Ibaka. He doesn't have Dream Shake. He doesn't have post spin technician. This Dirk is ass. <laughs> this Dirk is so bad. Like this Dirk is literally worse than Serge Ibaka. Um, I'm trying to think who... Is this Dirk worse than Wendell Carter Jr.? I, mean, I think you can argue that. Thank you, uh, San... Uh, Todd XU. 64 for the sub. Dirk is terrible. He's terrible. And we've got Kobe Bryant. 88 speed, 88 acceleration, 83 three ball, 90 mid, 85 driving, 86 lateral, silver clamps, silver creeper step, gold, or gold glue hands, gold dead eye, gold blinders, gold catch and shoot. Can't get any chef or anything, but doesn't really matter because you can bump for that three ball. Kobe based on normal, Kyrie, which is pro one behind the back. This might be the best two guard in the game. Kobe's really good. This card reminds me of Kobe Pink Diamond from last year. Actually, is it's definitely not as good as Kobe Pink Diamond. It reminds me of somewhere between Kobe Amethyst and Kobe Pink Diamond last year. I just want to check how good Kobe's Pink Diamond was last year. Oh, Kobe could get range, couldn't he? His Pink Diamond could actually get range, I'm pretty sure. Trying to, he reminds me of probably his, Kobe's Amethyst then, now that I'm thinking of it. But he, could he get range? Yeah, he got gold range. He reminds me of this card, right? A better version of this card right here. 88 speed. So we had 2663 total stats. He has like 2771. He's like a better version of that. Um, that Amethyst from last year. With, again, with good dribble six. Kobe's going to be one of the best cards. Probably the best two guard in the game. Kobe's probably the best two guard in the game. So now we got Jokic. Who he can kind of dunk. He can kind of dunk. 67 speed on Jokic. Please say he's released on quick. If they have to give Jokic a release on quick for him to be able to shoot. 79 block. I mean, if you can hit with Jokic, he's not actually that bad. Like, if you can actually hit with Jokic and you run in the post. Jokic isn't great. Jokic is not bad. Like, Jokic is not bad. 
like sniper and stuff dime or bullet pass here Jokic is not a bad player like i'm not the highest on him he doesn't really suit my play style but if you know what i'm talking about he exactly suits my play style he's not even that bad on defense he's an offense center he's not terrible on defense like 79 block like will like no centers can guard anyone on the inside and his rebounding is very solid I wish he was... Yeah, is, is Jokic not meant to be 7 foot? Maybe I'm wrong. Either way, Jokic is... Jokic is, the, Jokic is so much better than Dirk, though, by the way. He's so much better than Dirk. He's not great, but, I mean, he's he's fine. Then we got Vince Carter. Vince Carter. 6'6", six, 6'9", six, six, wingspan. 89 speed, 89 acceleration, 87 three-pointer. Vince on normal. Bad behind the back. Slasher dribble style. Sniper. Blinders, catch and shoot. No clamps. Got a 95 driving like 83 lateral. I mean, Kobe's is, Kobe's better, isn't he? Am I am I the only one who thinks Kobe's better than Vince? Because I think Kobe. Because like I know I don't know what Kobe Bryant dribble style is, but I know Slasher's bad. Am I the only one who thinks Kobe's better than Vince? Because everyone's going crazy about Vince in my chat. Am I the only one who thinks Kobe's better? Like in terms of badges, Vince gets a couple more, but you got like half dead eye on Kobe. You get limitless spot, which doesn't do anything on Vince. You get mismatch expert, which doesn't matter for 6'6 six, six, two guard. Lucky number seven is not too bad. But like again, if you can put lucky number seven on Kobe, number seven on Kobe, it's fine. Vince gets sniper. Kobe's way better on defense. So when people are saying Kobe's like quick and shifty. Like, yeah, I'm I'm all on the Kobe hype train. I'm all on the Kobe hype train over Vince. To be honest, I'm all on the Josh Giddy Cam Reddish hype train. Or say not Josh Giddy, the Gary Harris Cam Reddish hype train. Kobe's definitely better than Vince. Slasher is the worst in my opinion. PD Kareem. Okay. Okay. This is like Juice Wilt. Half hook specialist. Half dream shake. Half back 10 points here. 95 shot close. Half Intimidator, so we can actually guard the big guys. Half Rim Protector. 69 Lateral. 85 Driving Dunk. 95 Stamina, which is huge. He's like better Shaq. Ream, like base 21. It is what it is. He's got Skyhook. He's not going to dribble at all. He's just better Shaq. He's probably not going to be worth the price. These guys are going to be expensive. And also, if you're looking to buy these packs with MT, if you guys don't know, he's like 20k MT a pack. Don't buy the pack. But like... He's just better Shaq. Not game-breaking, though. None of these cards are game-breaking. I will say that. None of these guys are game-breaking yet, thankfully. So, then we've got Oscar Robertson. 85 three ball. 87 shot made. 87 speed. 87 acceleration. Oscar Robertson released on normal. So, they gave Oscar Robertson... They gave Oscar Robertson base to... On quick to THC. But they didn't give it to Oscar Robertson. Good behind the back on Pro 3. Base dribble style is not great. Deadeye, he can get post-spin technician, I guess. 6'3", with a 6'5", to 6'8", wingspan. Can get quick for step, can't get clamps. 85 lateral. I mean, does it, is this card anything other than a mismatch problem? That's all That's all I can see this card being. Like, he's a mismatch. Like, he's a mismatch problem a point guard, but, like, if you come up if you come up against someone running Wall Frazier, you're not going to score. Like, you're just not going to score. So, he's, he's definitely, he's obviously not worth the lock-in. He's obviously not worth He's fine. If he was in the set and Vince was, like, if Vince was a lock-in and Oscar Robertson was in the set, I'd be like, you know, what? Oscar Robertson's good. And Vince may or may not be, uh, may or may not be worth it. And yeah, someone's saying guards 6-1 and shorter are going to trigger mismatch experts. So we can't even guard ball. Like, he can't even, not only can he not guard ball, if someone's playing with Chris Paul and Don Mitchell, he can't even guard the two guard. So, Oscar Robinson is just a mismatch problem on offense. Not worth locking. Kareem, I mean, if you have the MT, he's like better Shaq. He's brilliant. Vince Carter, I mean, I would take Kobe over him, but if he's cheaper than Kobe, I don't think there's much of a difference. There is a difference, but not much. Jokic is a good offensive center. Not terrible on defense. Not bad at the right price. Kobe Bryant, probably the best two guard in the game. Um, is going to be incredibly expensive, but if you want to, if you really want to go for him. Dirk Nowitzki, um, garbage man. Josh Smith, basically Blake Griffin from last week, but better. Probably not going to be expensive because Amethyst is the third highest tier in this set. 
So anyone saying things like these amethysts are going to be 40k, I highly doubt it because these guys are going to be, they're going to have guaranteed packs. Because there are now diamonds and pink diamonds, the chance of an amethyst probably raises, rises from a, a like 6% chance. It probably rises up to like a 15, 20% chance. So you're going to see a lot more of these. I think Josh Smith, if he's around 15k, he's going to be a really, really solid power forward or a center if you want to run him there. Dennis Schroeder kind of sucks. Donovan Mitchell's, the only problem is he can't play point guard, but Donovan Mitchell's absolutely incredible. Lou Dort, basically like a smaller version of ML Carr. A little bit better shooting, a little bit worse on, tiniest bit worse on defense and dribbling, but a really good player. Gary Harris with his Evo becomes a player that I believe is the equivalent of um, Daryl Griffith, except you lose a little bit of dunking, but you gain better defense and you gain three-point shooting. Wendell Carter Jr. is mediocre. He's not great. Cam Reddish is like what we all thought um, Emerald Paul George um, should have been. Brilliant. Taylor Horton Tucker, even with Devo, I don't rate him highly. He's okay. Josh Giddy, not bad. He's going to move really, really well. Release is kind of bad. And Isaiah Ryder, another decent Friday reward. We're grinding the game. So, for these, I'm going to say thumbs down for Big O. Thumbs, I don't know if I can thumbs up or thumbs down Kareem. Thumbs down or up Vince, depending on his price. If thumbs down Vince, if he's more than Kobe. Gonna thumbs down Jokic as much as I think he's okay. Thumbs up Kobe. Thumbs down Dirk. Thumbs up these two guys. Thumbs down Schroeder. Thumbs up Dorton and Gary Harris. Thumbs down um, Wendell Carter. Thumbs up Radish and, and Giddy. Thumbs down THT. So anyway, yeah. That's pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.